Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you the basics of weaving with a cardboard loom. If you made them longer, you could use them as a headband, you could use them as a belt, maybe a necktie. If you made them wider and longer, you could weave a scarf. So let's get started. To make your cardboard loom, you can either use this type of corrugated cardboard, a pizza box or something like that. But today I'm just going to show you with this kind of cardboard, and this is just like cereal box cardboard. And the first thing you're going to have to do is wind your yarn around your cardboard loom. Wind an even number of strands of yarn around your cardboard. Now I've done three in black on each side, and then I did four of red. You could do all in one color. And on the back, tie the two ends together in the back. And there's the red that's been tied, and there's the black that's been tied. So now we're ready to start. Now you could use solid colors and change your colors. Today I've decided to use a multicolor. And I'm going to cut off about six feet. And I have a tapestry needle here, so it does not have a sharp end, it's blunt. Thread the yarn into the needle. So to make a bracelet, you're going to need your cardboard to be long enough so that when it's finished, this is going to wrap around your wrist. My wrist is approximately 8 inches around, so that's what I need to have across here. Okay, to get started, I'm just going to place my yarn underneath the very first strand. I'm going to leave a tail approximately 4 inches long. I'm just going to make one knot there just to hold that in place. Now to do the actual weaving, you're going to be going over and under, over and under, and this is over, so I'm going to go under this next strand. So under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. And I'm going to pull that yarn through. Now here's the important thing. You want to keep this the same width all the way, so you don't want to pull this too tightly. So I ended this row under, and I'm going to go over. That's the tail, and just move that out of the way. So now I like to just bring my tapestry needle snug up against that first row, and I'm going to pull this through, and I can just use my needle to pull those down. And I'm going to pay attention not to pull too tightly on these ends. So I ended this row under, so I'm going to go over, back and forth, all the way across the row. And snug those up with my needle. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and fast motion and do a section. Okay, I've worked this far, and I would like to put a little bit more purple over here. So I'm going to end this yarn just to show you how to do that. I'm just going to weave this in, oh, three or four strands. And I'm going to end this on the underneath. And I'm going to cut it off, but I'm going to leave a thread there so that I know where that was. I'm going to thread my purple onto my needle. I'm going to get through from the center and get myself back out to the edge and I'm going to leave that long end on the underneath and I'm going to start my next row so I'm just going to continue on and I'm going to tuck that down and then I'm just going to continue on Okay, now that I have some purple at both ends, I'm going to end this here. If your cardboard wasn't long enough, you can scooch this over and work more. But bear in mind, you do have to keep enough length to be able to tie off your ends. So to end it, I'm just going to follow a few of these ends like that. Okay. 
and I'm going to cut that off and I'm going to trim those up later and I'm going to cut that across okay so there's the front and there's the back and I'm going to take two end ones and I'm going to tie one knot now I'm going to take one from the knot and the next one and I'm going to tie that into one knot again I'm going to take one from the last knot and the next strand and tie one knot So now they've all been knotted across like that. If you divide them in half, make one square knot. Like that. You can just cut those ends. And now I'm going to knot off this end in the same manner that I did over here. Okay, so this is how it looks when it's finished. You could make another knot here and use this as a buttonhole. So a button on this end. So to help myself along, I've just cut a piece of cardboard that's exactly the right length. And I'm going to bring these over. I'm going to trim these ends like that. Slide that off. Now I can slide this on my over my hand and I have a nice friendship bracelet. There's a quick and easy project to try your hand at weaving with a cardboard loom.